Hey guys, bringing you a key repair video today. Uh, today we're working on a HP and we're doing two different models because they're the same thing. We're doing a 255GX and a 256GX in, in this video. Uh, they have the same keyboard, same palm rest. Now the reason why we're fixing a key today, if you look at the inside of this computer's palm rest, this is a French inset keyboard. It's not held in by screws, it's held on by these little plastic rivets. Uh, so when you replace a keyboard in this model, you have to break all these, you can't replace them, and your keyboard just is never as secure. Um, if you see computers that have had that done, they're like wrapped in electrical tape to try to seal it. Uh, so not an ideal repair. That's why we advise to fix keys, if at all possible, versus the entire palm rest or keyboard. Uh, so to start with, oftentimes you can't find keys for sale loose. If, if you can, check out e eBay or Amazon, but if you can't find a loose key for sale, then you can probably buy a, a used keyboard fairly cheaply and then take a key off of there uh, to put onto yours. So first thing we'll show you in the video is in one of these small normal keys, your number keys, your letter keys, we'll show you how to take one off and then how to put it back on safely. And then in the second half of the video, we'll show you how to do one of these larger keys, enter space, uh, shift, because they look different underneath. Uh, when this video is posted, and we know the time uh, progression of the video, I'll post in the description at what time in the video uh, to jump to it, if you're looking for the large key only. Uh, so you can jump to that, you don't have to watch the first part. Uh, so also check out the frequently asked questions below, they can save you some time. Uh, if you don't see your question there, leave it as a comment. I try to get back to you at least a couple times a day when I'm not in the office, and if I am working, I try to get back to you several times a day. So uh, just zoom in real quick. We'll uh, zoom in on a key, we'll show you how to take it off, and then how to put it on. Alright, so let's move this over. Let's just go for the, uh, you can see that okay? The L key over here, it's, it's in the middle. So, first thing you want to do, small flathead screwdriver, smaller the better. A large normal household one will, will not work, it, it'll break it. So what I'm going to try to do with the screwdriver is put it underneath your key cap, the top part, but on top of the retainer clip underneath to hold it down so that when I pull the cap off, I don't break the clip because it's very weak, flimsy plastic. So I'll do this. I'll show you what it looks like once I get the key off. Get it under there. All right, so as you can see, that, that pops off fairly easily. And as you can see, my screwdriver is holding down that black retainer clip. Now this is how most retainer clips will look in computers. They'll be different sizes. Um, but this is how they'll all generally look. You have this little rubber component in, in the middle that bounces and pushes the key cap back up. Really try not to damage that. It's held on by glue. Um, really hard to get it back on if, if you do break it. And then the, the retainer clip is made up of, of two parts. So if you get them out of each other, if they fall off, you, you can't put those back together. Um, generally speaking, take another key cap off, look at how that's put together and then you can tell how to get that back together if, if it does fall apart. And then you have four metal pins, usually toward each of the four corners. Uh, every now and then you'll run it into a computer that has one metal one in the center here, or one in the center on the bottom, but generally you have four. Now the idea to get this off safely is we're gonna find the two metal pins that are the closest to the edges. In this case, it's your bottom. We're gonna push it down and try to wedge that plastic out from under that clip. I'll show you a little bit more once I get it out. There we go. So I'll just move that there. So this is the component that we just took out. And this corner and this corner is what I was trying to push down on up top while gently prying these corners out from under the metal clips holding these corners down. And as you can see, it's very thin plastic. You can barely even see it. So it, if you're gonna break this anywhere in this video, that's most likely where you'll break it. And if you do break it, then you need another clip because it won't be held down properly. So once you get that out, it's pretty simple to put it back in. We're gonna go in reverse since we took the bottom off first. So we're gonna put the top on first this time. You're gonna set your retainer clip in there as centered as possible and you're gonna get those top two pins right nice where they need to be. That may take a little while if you're not used to it. And then once you get it centered in there, just push in on the bottom corners and it should snap in. Just like that. 
um, and now that's secure. You take your keycap, you eyeball that again, try to get it as centered as possible, and then you press. And that snaps back into place. So that's how you would replace the uh, normal size letter keys. Again, now in this half of the video, we're going to show you how to do a, a larger key. We're going to go for the space key here. So I'll move that over, zoom in on the space key. Oops, that's out. Okay, so there's your space key. All right, so this is gonna look a little different. Um, so I'm gonna take it off and show you what it looks like under the large keys. It's obviously gonna look a little not the same as the one we just did, so still the same way. Try to get this screwdriver in under the clips. All right, so that came off. I'm gonna take that, put that off to the side. And as you can see, my screwdriver is holding down two black retainer clips because um, it's a bigger key, so there's two. And there's also this little metal stabilizer bar here. Comes out fairly easily. Uh, it's not a complicated part. It just fits into that loop there. This side fits into that loop there. And then it kind of it kind of wiggles, it moves around. It's, it's, it's not really snapping in, into place, but that's what you'd be looking at. So you would take these off the exact same way. Um, in our case, it looks like the metal pins on the bottom are still the ones we're gonna go after because they're the closest to the edge. So you'd push down like last time, pry these up, and pop those off like that. You'd still wanna watch out for this rubber component. And then when you're putting these back on, you'd get your retainer clips in, you put this stabilizer bar down. Again, try to eyeball it, get it as centered as possible. And then you just put your key up top, center it, and press. And that'll snap into the retainer clips. It'll also snap into that stabilizer bar. That may take a few tries, um, again, that stabilizer bar can be a little tricky because it kind of moves around, uh, but don't get frustrated. Even if it takes a few tries, you, you can definitely uh, get that in there with uh, some trial and error. So that's how you would do the smaller keys. That's what a larger key looks like underneath. Um, if you have any questions, again, leave them below. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself repair, please like, share, and uh, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.